Rock and roll, daddy. What's going on, Bob Squad? Just me, Bob, just driving around, coming uh, back from Vaughn's. I was hoping to get a Vaughn's homemade sandwich. They were all out of homemade sandwiches. I never understood Vaughn's homemade sandwiches. It doesn't make a lot of sense unless the guy who makes it lives at Vaughn's. It's nice on Vaughn's effort. I don't really need to see proof of residency for my roast beef and cheddar. I just, uh, you know, gotta make the fellows sleep in the back in a giant bag of dog food just for authenticity. You can just make it from work. Let them go home on time. I don't understand. Better than a guy living outside of Vaughn's making a sandwich. That's way worse. He's not even allowed inside. You don't want him slapping your pepper jack turkey around there, daddy. They don't even let him in. They're like, hey, buddy, you can't come in here. They don't even buy nothing. You just make all the food and leave. Then, now, together, forever. What's going on, Bob Squad? Monday Night Raw, June 10, 2024. Hulu edition, Hulu edition. Not living enough commercial interruption. What happened? A bunch of uh, athletes are walking to the, the stage and, and the arena, and they have wheels on their luggage, so it makes it easier to move their luggage. And Drew McIntyre, he shows up in, in Toledo, Ohio. They're admitting the smaller markets now. Uh, they're admitting where they are. They're not doing the whole, we're just in Ohio thing. Anyway, Drew McIntyre says, I'm Scottish. And Damian Priest interrupts and says, yeah, you're Scottish. And then they agree to have a match with uh, Finn Balor, who says, I'm Irish. No, he doesn't say anything. Uh, Damian Priest says, my friend Finn Balor has a purple handkerchief hanging out of his butt. And if you wrestle him and if you beat him, then my friends won't interfere in our match. And uh, then they're going to hang out if you don't beat Finn Balor tonight. And they made their main event. Isn't that nice? There's commercials. They sell you goods and services. Uh, Damage Control was walking by with EO Sky and Dakota Kai and Kai Rezane. And they all had dark uh, sunglasses and dark leather outfits like they were going to Iron Man's funeral or something. And EO Sky wrestles Lyra Valkyrie, bird. she wrestles Bird Lady. She wrestles the Bird Lady, and they have their match. And it's uh, it's very physical, and they're showing that EO is frustrated and she, 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 uh, with her losses. And uh, anyway, there's some interference, and EO Sky defeats Lyra Valkyrie, Bird Lady. And Damage Control has to pull EO back from the damage that she is doing. They are not controlling the damage that EO is doing. And then Chance and Carter, or whatever, Caden, Carter, something, Katana, Chance, Katana, I, I don't know. Um, the, the, the badly named team shows up and uh, they, they clear house and, and uh, there's going to be your six-woman tag probably for next week, I'm assuming. Asuka is injured. She has a terrible leg injury. So that's unfortunate, like Asuka. Um, Judgment Day is backstage, and I guess Liv Morgan gave a hotel key to Dominic Mysterio, implying that if he uses the hotel key, which isn't really a key, it's more of a magnetic card, but if he uses the magnetic card, she's giving him, uh, she's suggesting that she wants him to uh, enter her room, and then I guess they're gonna, they, she wants him to fornicate, is what they're implying, I guess. They're gonna fornicate in a nude with their genitals and everything else. But, um, which is kind of weird because, like, wouldn't he still knock? Like, what's the point of giving him the key? Like, what if what if she's taking a dump? Like, I don't know. Anyway, uh, and Dominic slams the key down in disgust because he's supposed to be loyal to his heel girlfriend or something. And J.D. McDunfor and Carlito and, uh, there's a Dominic Mysterio whose arm is bandaged, so he did very, very little in the six-man tag. Wrestled Braun Strowman, Rey Mysterio, and uh, Dragon Ball Z. And then Liv Morgan shows up and she falls off the ring apron, which is the hardest part of the ring, on top of Dominic Mysterio. She is inadvertently or somewhat advertently straddling him in a sexual position, implying she wants to fornicate uh, with the young man, and be that as it may. That was after Zelina Vega, who still works there, knocked uh, Liv Morgan off the ring apron, the hardest part of the ring. Braun Strowman hits a thing on uh, Carlito, and he pins uh, Carlito for the 1-2-3 in a six-man competition. Ricochet is ricocheting out the door. Ricochet's leaving a company for one reason or another. I don't understand why he would do that. Uh, he's wrestling, uh, he's backstage with Ilya Dragunov, excuse me, and Ilya says he's, he's going to wrestle. Ilya says that he, Ilya, will wrestle Braun Breaker, who is doing a lot of bad things. 
We uh, come back from commercial. Remember, this is the Hulu edition. Hulu edition. I love enough commercial interruption. Otis is very big, and he's wrestling Sami Zayn. And Chad Gable is ordering Otis to be very mean. And then Otis is in the corner being yelled at. Sammy hits his halupa kick out of nowhere. One, two, three. Sammy defeats Otis. And then uh, Otis is reluctantly beating up Sammy at the order of Chad Gable. It looks like Otis is about to punch Chad, and Chad is very concerned, and he's got Otis has got Chad backed up in the corner. But then Otis turns around, he just leaves everyone, he says, the heck with this. I'm out of here. So that's that. A great shot of Chad Gable, like, pretending like he's just cool, but he's, like, still nervous. He's shaking the ropes. Like, he knows he's kind of losing control of him. But his ego, he's got blinders on, and he's looking forward to this Saturday at... Clash at the Castle in Scotland, where Drew McIntyre is from. He made that known earlier. Ilya Dragunov wrestles Braun Breaker. Oh, what a fun match this was. I was... It had a first half and a second half, as most things do when you divide them in halves. Uh, the first half, I was a little puzzled. They had Ilya again a lot on Braun. Uh, I was like, this is... And I love Ilya, but I'm like, this is... Like, Ilya's sh strong suit is his selling and everything else. And they wanted to get Braun over as a killer, and they did. But I should have had faith as we come back from the break. I think they did like a little heat spot right before they go to the break, which makes sense. Why that's where you would put it. I forget exactly what it was, uh, but something. Ilya was dazed on the outside of the ring, whatever. Anyway, and then Braun starts um, getting his stuff in on Ilya. Did I write anything else down? Not particularly, no. Uh, so Ilya had a lot of near falls, and they showed Braun's... It was interesting because they showed Braun's weaknesses. Like, they gave him his own weakness. They gave him his own out. Like, Superman is his kryptonite because other than that, Superman would go like this and destroy Lex Luthor, would he not? Um, but uh, Braun's in, in his own head. He gets, they, they show that he gets super frustrated if someone kicks out unexpectedly and he doesn't get his way. And uh, he, he, hasn't, he, he hasn't controlled himself and he's always in danger of getting himself disqualified or uh, just, you know, has a, a bit of a focus problem or whatever. So they, which is, so they did something interesting for Braun's character, which is going to be a, very helpful down the road when they need to give him some outs and they just they don't want to just beat him, you know, because you're going to have those wacky events like your Elimination Chamber, your Survivor Series, where you got to beat everybody except one guy to match. It's going to be a little... So they got to give Braun those, uh, those quirks, which is good. Very good. Braun defeats Ilya finally with a spear. Uh, and then Ricochet jumps over the barricade out of nowhere. And he's brawling with Braun. And they brawl to the back. And then uh, we'll get back to that later. Because a lot of things happened. Team Spooky still wrestles there. And they wrestled Awesome Truth, Miz and Our Truth, for the Tag Team Championships. Miz and Our Truth are victorious here. The, the New Day interferes. And fights Team Spooky, because Team Spooky tried to break them up. And Braun Breaker throws, has Ricochet backstage, they're brawling, and he, he throws Ricochet straight first into a giant, um, into Jimmy Hart. He throws Ricochet into the mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. Not the man himself, but a giant equipment tractor trailer with Jimmy Hart's face on it, which is the oddest thing to choose which I could only hope brings Jimmy Hart into the feud. And then Ricochet, yeah, because that was, I don't know why that wasn't enough, because Ricochet, had, it was a sick sound, a sick bump he took, coming back down on the concrete, more so than the actual lawn dart thing. Uh, blah, 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 big power slam from Ricochet off some kind of platform near the truck onto a, a rented car, which will not rent to WWE any longer, and breaks the windshield. And uh, then we learn that uh, we come back from a break, and we learn that Samantha Irving has the emotion of the two, of the duo because she's great. She's very upset, of course, and she rides with Ricochet in the ambulance to the hot. I didn't listen if they said hospital or medical facility. I'd like to know. I'm not gonna go look it up. I don't care that much. They will replay it 90 times. It doesn't matter. But um, I like how they did this. They did it quickly. Um, they had EMTs show up and not dramatically do... They didn't have EMTs all now bumping and feeding for Braun, like, to show that they're obviously indie wrestlers. They didn't have EMTs with, like, pink hair and wacky facial hair and goofy tattoos, and they're all kind of big. They just had EMT-looking EMTs. I was like, okay. that's Or maybe they did, maybe those were wrestlers or some kind of staff, and they just used the smaller ones, which, which would make the most sense. 
Anyway, Drew McIntyre is still Scottish, but Pat McIntyre is doing the introductions because Samantha Irving is not there. Irvin? Is it Irving? I don't know. Uh, Magic Johnson's not there. Uh, Pat McAfee stands on the, the table. I'm surprised neither Drew nor Finn break. Maybe they expected it. Uh, where Fat was, Pat was calling Drew a sexy Scottish bastard, and he said something about Finn in a similar fashion, and no one broke. Drew McIntyre and Finn Balor wrestle a match, and Finn is wrestling, and he locks up, and he goes, I'm Irish, uh, you know, shoulder tackle. And then Drew no sells a shoulder tackle. Uh, Finn shoots off the rope. Drew throws the line. Finn ducks the line. Finn goes for high crossbody, Drew catches him, and then Drew says, oh, I'm Scottish, none of this happened, I made this up. Drew does beat Finn, there's some Judgment Day interference, Jay did make done for, and Carlito, who is a lot of fun uh, now. Carlito with the Judgment Day is fun, by the way, and it doesn't go their way, and blah, 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 blah. The Scottish guy beat the Irish guy, so the Scottish guy in Scotland will fight the Puerto Rican guy for the championship. Uh, in Scotland this Saturday at, I'm on the West Coast, so I think it's like 10 a.m. my time, 8, 11 a.m. my time, something like that. Uh, so that is what's going to happen there. Isn't that quicker? Oh, yeah, there were segments backstage, I should mention, Carlito, and they were, Damien was mad, and he's like, I mean, we, we need to know where the hotel key is, like it's a bomb, and get rid of it or whatever. Like, he could just not use it or throw it away or something or give it back to her, I don't know, so she doesn't get charged for the key, because I'm sure there's a fee, I'm sure there's a fee if you lose the hotel key, not that she can't afford it, but I'm just saying, just for courtesy and whatnot, what have you, um, but anyway, when I think it was Damien's or whoever said she left her hotel key, key right here, they all, all the, all the dudes had to look upset and offended that she did this, <laughs> and Carly Doth goes, that's cool, and, and then they had to go, no, it's not cool, oh, sorry, it's not cool, Hilarious. Uh, so he's he's a lot of fun. That was Monday Night Raw, June 6th, with a Hulu edition limited commercial interruption, then now together forever.